my name is Sister Mandy from the Sisters of Mercy of the Americas and today we are going to make butternut soup for our Meatless Monday. This is the Oculus next to the World Trade Center and I come through here on my morning commute to ministry and since I'm very lucky that there's a Winters Farmers Market, we're going to pick up the ingredients we need for the butternut squash soup and support our local farmers at the same time. Hi everyone, so for Meatless Monday, we are going to be making a butternut squash soup. Now I was able to get everything I needed at the Farmers Market and I was lucky enough to find one of these. This is not actually a butternut, this is called a honey nut, and it's a relatively new variety that was developed by a chef who found he was frustrated with traditional squashes, which were bred to last a long time in grocery stores and grow with the uniform size, so he worked with farmers in his area to come up with this. And it's very similar to a butternut and will work very well in this soup. We're going to cut this up into two inch cubes and you can work with it just like you would a butternut squash. You can peel this with a vegetable peeler or a knife. I'm gonna go ahead and use a knife, but whatever you're more comfortable with um, would be my recommendation. We're just gonna start by cutting off the top and the bottom. Then I like to cut this in half right in the thin part, makes it easier to handle. We'll set one of those aside and go ahead and start peeling our squash. On the inside of this, I just look for the light ring just inside the skin to give me a clue of where to cut to get most of the skin off without sacrificing too much of the squash. And I'll just Take very thin slices of the skin as I work my way around the outside. So that one is good to go. We'll do the second half. Now this one has all the seeds. So I'm gonna take a spoon and just scoop all of that out. And if you like to roast them, which I would highly recommend, they'll make a delicious little snack later. Get all of those out of there. Perfect. And just like we did with the top half, we will just work our way around. So we just need to cut this into two inch cubes. So I'll go ahead and cut this in half and start breaking this down. Now this section is rather thick, so I'm going to leave them large and it really doesn't matter if they're different sizes because we're gonna puree this in the end. And same with this section. Make sure you keep your fingers out of the way. Now, this is a thicker section here, so we're going to cut this in half, and then cut this into two inch strips. Before we cut it again in the other direction, making our two inch cubes. And the last piece, strips and cut these into two inch cubes. 
right, next we can cut up our onion. So I have a small onion here. I'm going to cut the top off and cut it in half right through where the root would be before I peel off any old dry layers. And we only need half an onion for this recipe, so we'll set one half aside and cut this into two inch cubes as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the root end and just cut it in half once and then make two cuts this way and that will be ready to go. Our last ingredient is one apple, which we will cut into two inch cubes as well. So we're going to peel this We will cut this into two inch cubes and everything is going to go right into our simmering broth together, which makes this soup very simple and easy to prepare. All right, so I have that peeled. I'm gonna start working my way around the core. Get as close as I can. And I've got a couple spaces here with some seeds in it, so I'm just gonna pop those out. Now this apple isn't too big, so I don't need to cut this too many times. But just enough so that it breaks down and will be easy to puree later. There. All right, so I have our broth um, up to a boil, and I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in everything that we've cut up, nice and gently, don't splash yourself and all of our butternut. And we will let that simmer for about 10 minutes until everything is nice and soft. So while my soup is simmering, I'm going to go ahead and add the seasoning. So I've got some pepper. We need an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. And an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I happen to have whole nutmeg, but ground would also be fine. So I'm just going to grate some of that right into there. And lastly, a quarter teaspoon of salt. vegetables are cooked and soft. So we're going to transfer the soup into a blender and puree it. You have to be careful pureeing hot liquids because they can splatter. Okay. And I'm just going to put a towel over this for extra insurance.